Have the tides turned for buyers and sellers in Milton? Whether you're considering buying or selling, or just curious about our local real estate dynamics, you won't wanna miss this comprehensive overview. Let's explore what's really happening in Milton's real estate market. 111 homes were sold in Milton this January, representing a 53% increase over last year. The average sale price was also up 4.3% over December. It took 53 days on average for a property to sell, and the average list to sale price was 99%, which is up over 97% we saw in December, meaning sellers are getting closer to their asking price. Why the sudden increased activity in January? Buyers have been sitting on the sidelines and there is palpable pent up demand. With most economists predicting that rates will start to come down by mid year and with the slight declines we saw in the fixed rates, coupled with lower inventory levels, you've got a recipe for what looks like a frothy spring market. That increased buyer activity was a welcome change from the last quarter for sellers as we progressed in January. We saw more sellers opting to list their home at an artificially low price and hold back on offers. This is where you see a home listed at a too good to be true price. This could look like 50,000 to even $250,000 lower than their desired sale price and holding offers. This means that the sellers set an offer date, usually three to seven days in the future, and tell the buyers when they'll be willing to look at any and all offers. This is a marketing price they're putting on the property, not a true asking price, as most sellers wouldn't accept the price that they're listed at when they're choosing this pricing strategy. This strategy is useful in a low inventory market where the demand is higher than the available homes for sale. It is used to drive appointments and generate multiple offers. The risk is that on offer day, you may not receive offers in the price range that you're hoping for, or possibly no offers at all. Some sellers will then either accept an offer less than they had hoped to receive, or choose not to accept any of the offers and relist the property at a higher price. This list low and hold strategy has continued into February in Milton. And as a team, we've found our clients in multiple offer situations a number of times already this year. This fundamentally goes back to the underlying issue that remains, lack of supply. We do not have enough homes available. We've seen government intervention into this issue many times. The federal government recently announced that they've extended ended the foreign buyer ban for an additional two years until January 1st, 2027. This move hopes to ensure that the available housing will be available as homes for Canadians to live in and not as a speculative financial asset class. Other changes we've seen come into play include the ability to hold open offers. The details of your offer to buy a home is no longer a secret. The rules have changed under the new TRESA legislation changing the landscape of what we are allowed to share when there are competing offers on a property. We still must disclose the number of competing offers, but the details, they were top secret until now. Sellers call the shots on sharing the content if they so choose to, in addition to our requirement to share the number of offers. Sellers can now direct their agent in writing on what to share, including prices, conditions, or closing dates. We have yet to see this in any of our multiple offers we've been a part of, but we have heard of other sellers opting to share. Additionally, how we can advertise our coming soon properties has changed. We can only advise the public of coming soon properties to the public three days before the property goes on the MLS. So many changes and all so quickly, such is the roller coaster of the real estate market. It may feel overwhelming to keep up with everything, and that's where we come in. We'd love to help you on your journey. Connect with us at the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with us.